Hello everyone, this is Sandra. I just wanted to share another journal with you that I just finished up. And this is my sewing journal, sewing theme journal for a swap over at Junk Journal Junkies Facebook group. And this book was supposed to be created um, with three signatures and um, can't remember how many pages, but as you can see, there are more than the requirement. Um, it got a little bit big, <laughs> and um, but it was so much fun to make. I just kept going and going and going. Um, here is the um, here's my little dangle charm I made on the side. It's a little bobbin here and a spool of th uh, spool here a bobbin. It's got a button, pretty little um, pearl dangle here, and some scissors, and a pretty little thimble, and let's see, this front here has just the dress form that I inked and just grunged it all up, and I added this flower here um, just recently. It was just a bunch of leftovers from what I used inside the book, so I made that really pretty little flower. I wanted to, to bring in some more pink, and um, and then this here little doily and some little things there. Here's a spool here, and this is my closure. On the spool, I. I used uh, the Tim Holtz dye, uh, the sewing, uh, what is that, the um, dress form, and it has the little sewing spool. And I just, you know, I put several of these together, glued them, glued them up, and then I ended up cutting, you know, a space in between so that the scissors here can fit inside. So... And if you push down on the book just a little bit, they'll slide right out of of the middle there. Um, I think I ended up using, let's see, three of these um, on the inside, and then two on the top and two on the bottom that I glued together. So there was quite a few of them, but they're very thin chipboard, but it worked really worked out really nicely. I initially was trying to cut a real bobbin and you can see it has got a hole in there and it, it I don't know I was just having so much trouble with this so I um, ended up going with just uh, some some chipboard pieces and um, I added a couple little snaps over here to the top of what they cover so here's the inside I'm just gonna I'm going to go through this book pretty quickly um, I got um, really nice glassing um, little envelope here and I attached a little needle and uh, thread here to that and a big alterations tag and just pretty paper here. There's a lot of tuck spots, little tags. Um, I used paper from an old vintage sewing book and most I, I sewed a lot of the paper and I think on most of the tags I did a lot of sewing a pretty tag there a lot of tuck spots some of the tags I left plain others I did stamp on um, like so and then um, paper bag another envelope I mean tag more tags um, I sewed around the cards here these little pretty sewing theme I think these are from ephemera's garden I believe um, those are from her and then I used some other really cute little tags little pocket here it says my soul is fed with the needle and thread and I love that little saying I found this um, paper here um, and it's a sewing journal paper pattern so you can write stuff down about your projects your sewing projects and I just kind of he dyed that a bit. More pockets and tags. Just some are plain, some are stamped. Um, this here, I've got a whole bunch of seam binding and these little tags here so you can journal on these and slide them in and out of there. 
We've got little buttons down the side here. So, just paper or tags. And I um, stitched along some of this trim and then some paper on the side. Big giant tag here. I've seen many people use this. Thought that was really cool. Got that off the internet. Along with these beautiful little, you know, old vintage sewing patterns. I love them. I just tried to find, um, you know, dresses that match the paper and thought that worked out pretty well. More of the, more of this little paper. And this opens up here, flips out, so you can write on that. A lot of sewing there. Pocket here, tag, some of this pattern paper, vintage pattern paper there. Um, and the spool. I thought this uh, this measuring tape was kind of cool, and I used that in several different places throughout the book. And I just left it with a little tiny tag here as a tuck spot. Another. Um, some more of these really pretty vintage. I yeah, I gotta. I'm not sure exactly where I got those ones from, but I know I bought them online. And just another tag here. One more. Mm -hmm. Paper. Um, this was really so much fun to make. This. I realized this page here is not quite done. I have some more little tags to add in here from the paper collection and yeah, so I'm not done with that one. I'll, I'll finish that page up. There's another tuck spot up here. This, this is an envelope um, and then you can flip it out. Got a little tag in here. and. Here's the back side, and just another tag here. More tags, there's, I don't know how many tags, I didn't go through here and count them, but I wanna say there's quite a few. Um, this book here, it was, it was a lot of fun to make. I was really nervous about making this um, book because, you know, it was three signatures and I've only made you know, single signature books. So I really wasn't sure how to go about it. And I found out later, I see this here, there's gaps in between the books. And I watched a video after I completed this and I thought, oh my gosh, I wish I would have watched that video before I, you know, I had made this book. And it was a video um, made by Debbie Ann Parent, who is ephemeris, from Ephemeris Garden. And so I'm gonna attach her video below. It was very, very helpful. Thank you so much, Debbie. Um, she talked about how, you know, how many pages you should use for your signatures and, you know, how how wide your, your, your binding should be um, when you put them together. And so I think, you know, I, I didn't care too much for the gaps I left in between. Although, you know, the book, I like how the book turned out. But, um, you know, I, I think I, I could have, um, you know, either added more signatures or, you know, made a smaller binding. Um, so next time, you know... Um, I will, I will remember that. So thank you so much, Debbie. Uh, that that information was really really helpful. Um, I'm just still kind of learning um, on how to make these um, junk journals. So I'm having a lot of fun. I'm I've seen many people put the little envelopes like this, attach them inside um, inside the journals, which I love. Um, there was also some of the ones that I've seen that are just so pretty. There's Rachel, Rachel Dewin. Um, she is Rachel from Jazzy's Creation. And these ladies are, 
are so talented over there at at the Junk Journal Junkies Facebook group. And um, anyway, I kind of scrap lifted this idea from her. So thank you so much, Rachel. I hope you don't mind. Um, I just love your work and, you know, uh, it's very inspiring. So pick that up there. And this is another tag. Also, um, there was a, it was a video and I like to mention um, that was from Cheryl Brown, who is Delhi Girl on uh, YouTube. And she did a video that was also extremely helpful. I, it helped me out tremendously um, on how to prep. She showed two different things, how to prep your envelope, your manila envelopes before you begin making a journal. And then she also had how to attach a clasp to your envelopes, which was very, very helpful. So thank you so much, Cheryl. Um, that was, that was a great video. So I'm going to put these ladies, um, videos down below on my, um, my video. And here is my zipper. This is the zipper I attached on this page and it works. It, you know, you can, you can just zip it and open and close it and add something in there if you'd like. Um, so that just goes like that. I just bring this down a little bit and it helps keep that flap closed, but I left the flap there and there's some papers inside. And then this is the back of my journal. And um, I did use Cheryl Brown's idea back here with the, she put the two uh, little, um, what do you call those? Uh, eyelets back in the back. But <laughs> I did it um, before I put the paper down, which is weird, but the eyelets are there. And it's, so it, there's a lot of strength in the back part of the, of the binding. And I just brought that around and then you know, those are my little scissors, and my book closes up like so. And so I hope whoever gets this book enjoys it. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, I got used to these little, you know, all of these little strings hanging out the side from all my sewing, and I just left them. I thought at first I wasn't sure if I liked them, but... I kind of got used to them and I kind of like them. So <laughs> I left them and, you know, if somebody doesn't like them, then of course, you know, they can just cut them off. But um, there you have it. So thank you again, Yvonne, who um, is Yvonne White. And actually, I watched a video from Yvonne before I made this book and it was extremely helpful as well. Um, I will put Yvonne's video down below. Um, it was how to make a vintage journal, and she kind of went through the whole process. I think it's a five-part video, but, oh, so helpful. So thank you so much. Like I said, I'm still learning um, lots, and I'm having fun. So thank you all very much for watching, and have a great week. All right, bye-bye now.